It's your boy Du Bands and you rocking with Pivot to Tell TV. Always a pleasure talking to be real. Oh, man. yeah. What you man. got going on, man? Oh, man. Just cooling it right now, bro. In the lab as we speak, bro. Just, you know what I'm saying? Trying to make something out of nothing. Yeah. Man, something out of nothing, man. Mm -hmm. Man, but we working with right now. You got Wild Woody on the deck, man. Y'all finished the project? Uh, We still uh, uh working on it in the making. We got a few little records that uh we need to finalize. He got another uh tape coming out called Survivor's Guilt. Uh, I think it's Survivor's Gift or Guilt, one of the two, you know what I'm saying? But uh, he got some more records for that, and uh, we're going to put that in motion and have that going. Okay. Yeah. Uh, free call, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Single? That, yeah, that's a single. Me, Q Red, and my bro, uh, Do Band. Okay. We got that single about to uh, get ready to drop. I mean, how that song come about, man? Oh, uh, we, Joseph. Joseph up in the studio, and uh, we was just coming up with some stuff, and, uh, you know, me and Q was coming up with the lip beat, and uh, we were just going over the hook. And, you know, Dude Bands came in. We was telling Dude to go on ahead and jump on that. And, man, he made it, he made it a classic. So, you know, it's a, it's a classic single. We're going to, you know what I'm saying? We're going to try to get it in a script club and, you know what I'm saying, make, some, make, make it happen. You know what I'm saying? At this present moment, Be Real, how many beats have you made all together from day one? To right now, from the beginning, from the beginning, how many beats have you made? If you just had to go off the top of your head, <sighs> way over a thousand, in I could tell you that, including the ones you just said. You know, I'm gonna delete and start over. I can't give you no particular number, but way over a thousand, way, way, over. way, 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 way over, over a thousand. thousand. Yeah, yeah. So, do you find yourself kind of um, coming up with some new sounds lately? Oh, um, like digging deep into the sounds and trying to create new flavors and I do when I be having the time to do it, but I be trying to work around the, the artists because they be wanting stuff right then and there. So I just go with what I know, but I try to make it sound totally different from my previous tracks that I do. You know what I'm saying? Just still keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it Baton Rouge, but just try to change it up. On different different sounds and stuff like that, so it won't sound like the same the same thing. You know what right. I'm saying? Do you think the game changing or is the same? Oh, uh, as far as with the music, yeah, it, the sound of music. The sound of music is it it's changing because you got different plugins, different different stuff that's 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 always getting produced out. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's changing drastically. It's changing. Seems like every couple of years, man, we get to hear a song from a, from you know what I'm saying, like from an artist. You know what I mean? It's like HD right now to the top of their list right now, man. You know how you feeling about his success right now? Oh yeah, man, man. HD doing his thing, bro. That's bro. You know what I'm saying? And I've been knowing, I've been knowing him. So, man, for him to just you know come in how he came in, and you know what I'm saying? Because he's been doing it for a while. He just didn't get that. That, that break like how he got now, you know what I'm saying? And he was always, you know, rooting for who he was, you know what I'm saying, dealing with, you know what I'm saying? From the, from the, from the, you know, you know, from Scotty Kane to uh, Mister and all them, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he was, he was messing with that whole Kane music movement. Mm -hmm. and, you know, he always been a supporter for whatever he, you know what I'm saying, was rolling with, you know. Mm -hmm. So, man, are you working on a mixtape, man? What we got coming out for Be Real, man, that we can just hear, you know, like a man, I'm gonna put project. Man, I'm going to put something together, bro. Personal I'm gonna put, project. I'm going to put something together, man. Right now, for me, it's just about singles right now before I just put out a project, you know what I'm saying? I I, I, I want to hit them with more singles than just, you know what I'm saying, a project. But, um, you know, my previous project I done, that was way in 2013, called Pay the Producer, Volume 1. And that was dropped. That was released on Apple Music. Uh, with the company that I was with, they had uh, it it it, it expired. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go back and re put it out and just add like a couple of more songs to it. But right now, for me, I'm just doing singles. Doing singles, right? Yeah, now. doing singles. Uh, you know, still doing my hooks and everything like that. So you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying. For the most part, it's just singles after singles after singles. Right, so like your hooks are golden right now, man. Like oh, yeah. Somebody get you on the hook is 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 green light. Oh man, bro, <laughs> and you know that just come from me just being that artist <coughs> before the producer. You know, I was <coughs> rapping before I was producing. You know what I'm saying? And I just and me just being 
in the studio knowing how to work the equipment and know how to say certain things and know how to record myself or get an engineer like Don Hooley to know how to record me and everything like that, just getting in there and doing it in a way to where like it's, it's convenient for me and having it in that right pocket, you feel me? Right, right. Man, when you be in the studio with producers who don't know as much as you, you know what I mean? Like, what's your way of giving constructive criticism? Um, I just tell them what it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, if it's something that ain't right with it, I just let them know, you know what I'm saying? Or uh, not, not to be, like, you know what I'm saying, hard on them, but just letting them know, like, you know. And, you know, a lot of producers, they respect me, you know what I'm saying? So they'll take constructive criticism from me, you know what I'm saying? And I just let them know, like, you know, man, maybe if you try this, or if you change it like that or whatever like that, it may come come out like this, you know what I'm saying? All right. Do you think you've made the perfect song or the perfect beat check? The way you can say, man, this song right here is it, you know, it's the perfect song, or it's the perfect beat, or you think ain't no such thing? I, to me, it ain't no such thing. I just be working, and whatever work, it gonna work, you know what I'm saying? If I'm feeling it at the time, and and I lay it down, I'm not gonna change nothing about it. I mean, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got some artists that'll lay around there and lay a verse down, and they'll probably come back and be like, man, I don't like how I did that, which which is understandable, but I like to do it right then and there. And once I land it how I land it, it is what it is. I don't want nothing taken from it. That's how I felt. The energy that I gave it on the track is what it is. We gonna run with it like that. I ain't, it ain't nothing that I need to change on. Anything that I do on a track.